This project started with the general idea that omega-3 fatty acids or fish oils are anti-inflammatory. And this has been known, or at least suspected, for many years. And all you have to do is go down to any nutrition store or any health food store or vitamin store and you can pick up a book and there's going to be a chapter on the anti-inflammatory effects of fish oils. We wanted to see if this was actually true and if it was, what were the mechanisms? And to answer these questions, this took us to an exploration of the family of GPCRs called fatty acid sensing GPCRs. And our first experiments were to look at the tissue expression patterns of these, this family of fatty acid sensing GPCRs. And when we did this, one GPCR called GPR120 jumped out at us because of its very unique and restricted ex tissue expression pattern. What we found was that GPR120 was highly expressed in pro-inflammatory macrophages and in mature adipocytes and also in gastrointestinal L cells. We treated wild type and GPR120 knockout mice with a high fat diet for about 12 weeks in order to make the mice obese and insulin resistant. At this point we supplemented the high fat diet with omega-3 fatty acids and measured the effects of this omega-3 fatty acid supplementation on inflammation and on insulin sensitivity. What we found was that the omega-3 fatty acid treatment in the wild type mice caused a very nice effect to decrease tissue inflammation improve insulin sensitivity, and normalize glucose metabolism. On the other hand, in the GPR120 knockout mice, the omega-3 fatty acids were completely ineffective, and this demonstrates that both in the in vitro and in vivo situations, the effects of omega-3 fatty acids are dependent on the GPR120 receptor.